Are you an ESL teacher and maybe you're just feeling a bit stressed, like you can't cope with the workload and the traveling and the lesson preparation? Well, don't worry. Today, I'm going to give you 16 short and sweet tips on how to minimize stress as an ESL teacher. Ahoy from Prague. I'm Paul Colto and lying down there, sleeping his way through 35 degrees in the Prague heat is Jochen. I remember my first two years as an English teacher here in Prague. It was lessons early in the morning, lessons going quite late into the evening, lots of lesson preparation, and just general stress. And now, five years later, I'm completely freelance and that just seems like a different time. So the 16 tips I'm going to share with you today will hopefully get you on that way to minimizing stress as an ESL teacher. So the first thing I want to say is to get up early if you can, every teaching day and prepare everything you need for that day before you leave the house. If that doesn't work for you, then maybe like a Friday afternoon or basically to do it all in one go. It's also important to minimize your preparation time. I know in the first six months, especially uh, when you've just qualified as an ESL teacher, you're preparing every lesson in great detail and you can't understand why those teachers who've been doing it for two or three years don't seem to be doing anything like that. And then when you finally get there, you realize, and one of the key things to do is to minimize your preparation time there are two nice ways you can do this the first one is to create a starter pack for each of your students before you teach their first ever lesson with them I've made a video on how to teach a great first lesson and it covers this idea of making a starter pack and you can watch that video by clinking clinking by clicking the link above link ab by clicking the link above or the link in the description and the other great way to minimize preparation time a bit is to get your students to prepare your lessons for you. So if there's a topic or an article you want to cover, get your student to find it online or wherever, to print it off, to highlight words they don't understand, and there you go, you've got your lesson prepared right there. Another great way to minimize ESL teaching stress is not to work in the evenings and not to work at weekends. But if it's a lesson with a private student, you might want to reconsider that because if you do a good job and they recommend you to family or friends or colleagues who could be taught during working hours, that's a new private student for you. Click the link above or the link in the description if you want to watch my video on how to get more private students. Next up, I want to tell you about making use of the time between lessons during the day, particularly if you're traveling around the city to different lessons like I do. So if you have been wise enough to invest in a tablet, which I really recommend for an ESL teacher, and again, there's a video about that and a link in the description, then you can, between lessons, for example, while you're in the tram, you can email, you can be emailing other students, answering correspondence, doing admin work, reading like what you're gonna be studying in the next lesson. Use that time constructively, and it will mean that your evenings and weekends are much freer. Next up is a little financial tip. Now, for example, here in Prague, you teach typically from September through to the end of June. So July and August, there aren't many lessons. So it's really important through the year to budget, to save some of the money you're making for those two months that acquire. I know lots of teachers here who kind of don't enjoy the summer so much because they're worried about money. So if you can really carefully every month think that you've got that time in the future you need to save for, save a little bit of money so that you can enjoy that well-earned summer break. And kind of related to that is to make sure that you take regular holidays and breaks. Like in any job, this is necessary to keep you fresh and to minimize stress. I make sure now I don't do any more than eight weeks teaching in a row without at least a one-week break. And my God, it really helps. If you're finding these tips useful, please just take one moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Another very good way to minimize stress as an ESL teacher is to do your utmost to create a balanced teaching timetable for yourself. So it's really important to try as much as you can to avoid split shifts. If you teach in a city like I do in Prague, lots of companies will want their students to have their lessons either before they start work or after they start work. And when you have those days, which I really did have in my first two years, where you teach from seven till nine, and then you have all day break and you start again from five till seven, often there'll be one or two lessons during the middle. It just turns into a really, really long day. I mentioned it earlier a little bit and I'm gonna mention it again now to give it extra emphasis and that is to minimize teaching stress getting a tablet is an absolute godsend I do have a video all about that I really recommend you watch it because it will revolutionize not only your teaching but your time management and with that comes this huge drop in stress I know it's just a tablet but believe me it really makes a difference another great kind of obvious thing to do is to get enough sleep to eat healthily and to exercise. These are all scientifically proven to minimize stress, so do them. 
Another kind of obvious tip is that it's basically better to be 10 minutes early for a lesson than five minutes late. There's nothing worse than arriving to a lesson late. It's unprofessional, you're stressed, it's a negative start to the lesson. One of the most stressful things for me as an ESL teacher in my first two years, and occasionally even now, is if I'm nervous that I don't have enough material prepared for that lesson. So make sure you have loads of filler in the tank. No matter how stressful or intense your first six months to a year of teaching is, Try not to be hungover or tired when you're teaching because the lessons feel twice as long and it becomes more about surviving the lesson than actually teaching. Don't forget to keep your sense of humour and your sense of perspective. This is, after all, only an English lesson. You can minimise your stress a little bit just by dressing appropriately in winter and summer. For example, you don't just want to be cold all day in the winter and in summer. Just be careful, don't wear anything too, you know, just, just dress appropriately. Another little way to minimise stress, just a touch, is to remember that you are doing a good thing. Teaching is a noble profession and if you're in a different country and you're teaching English, you are contributing to that country, so remember that. And finally, always endeavour to keep learning and keep improving because like with anything, the more you do something, the better you get and eventually you get to a really nice, confident place where you feel completely at peace going to every lesson knowing that you can do this. So those are my and Yoshin's 16 tips on how to minimize stress as an ESL teacher. I hope you found them useful and if you have any other tips or questions about ESL teaching in general, please add them in the comments below and I will do my best to pen you an answer. Please like this video if you did and subscribe to my channel and share it with anyone else you think might find it useful. I post new videos every Sunday on ESL teaching advice like this, international relocation advice, moving to Prague advice and some other little bits of stupid nonsense as well. So until next time, from Jojin and from me, toot toot. <laughs>